Hello, hello. Good morning. Hi, Jimena. Hi. Hi. Valentina Navas. Good morning. Fernando Marinero. Okay, good morning. Abby, good morning. Okay. Good morning. Excellent. Hey, Ron, good morning. Okay, welcome to your grammar class. Yes. Okay, remember today uh, we developed uh, the unit number 11. Yeah, we try to solve all the units because we don't have classes on Friday. Yeah. Okay, so we work a lot today. Hi, Soto, how are you today? Fine? Okay, that's good. Excellent. So remember, you enter to the class and you write the letter P or present. Yeah, because this one is your attendance. Okay, that's good. Nicole Flores, welcome. Okay, Michelle Franco, welcome. Okay, so let me check. Excellent. Okay, that's good. So let's start, yeah? Let me check something. Okay, let me see this one. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. Okay, so let's see. Let me share with you the unit. So let's see. Excellent. Good morning. Okay. Okay, that's good. So let's see, this one is unit number 11. And in that case, we talk about conjunctions. Yeah, specifically and, but, or, because. Yeah, that's mean we discuss about these four conjunctions. And, okay, in that case, we develop time management. Yeah, so we talk about different things about time. Let's start with grammar in the real world. Okay, so do you have enough time for the school? Yes or no? Okay, if you have enough time for school, so please, thumbs up. Yes? Okay, or is it not enough? <laughs> According to your experience. Okay, do you have enough time for school? Yes or no? No? Okay, uh, let me see for work and family. Okay, maybe on weekends, yes? We have enough time for spending with our family. Okay, now we read the article below. And what is one way to manage your time well? Okay, that's mean this one are some advices for management. Uh, let me see the time in the correct way. So let's see, time for everything. Okay, let me check. First one, first volunteer for reading the first paragraph, please. Okay, first volunteer. Good morning, Diego. Okay, Valentina Navas, help me please. And you read the first paragraph. Many adults say they want more time. They are busy with the work, family and school, and they often go, don't get everything done. People feel stressed because there is not enough time to do it all. However, there are some simple ways to manage your time well and avoid stress stress okay that's good exactly this one is true many adults okay we say that we don't have enough time and this one is true for example i need okay more time for checking the homeworks okay for preparing the classes uh for do different things at home etc so it is necessary and in some cases okay this activity when you are full of activity okay maybe of your work or maybe uh, let me see the responsibility at home, you feel a stress, yes? Because you don't have enough time for doing all the things that you plan, okay? For example, in a day, maybe I plan, okay, I do, I, let me see, I do a checklist and I, okay, this one, yes, this one, no, 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 it's not possible, yeah? Because we don't have enough time. For that reason, we are stressed in some cases. Okay, next one, uh, Natalia Torres, second paragraph, please. One way is to identify the important or necessary task for the day. Then create a schedule or a to-do list. When you finish your important task, you can move on to the next, less important one. Soon your tasks are done and there is hopefully some time extra, uh, extra time for fun activities. Okay, excellent. So 
this one is an advice. One way is to identify what are the most important activities or what are the necessary activities that you can develop. And, okay, you create a list, okay? And in this list, first one, you write the important task, and at the end, you write the less important task. Yeah, this one is one advice that we can put in practice, but in some cases, all the activities that you have during the day are important, yeah? Okay, let's see. Excellent, next paragraph, please. Abby. Another way is to do important tasks on the same days every week. For example, you can do your laundry every Monday and go to the gym on Thursday and Thursday mornings before work or school. Always to do tasks on the same days. They way you can plan around these important tasks and have time for other things. Some people don't like Schedule, schedule. <laughs> okay, schedules. Schedules <laughs> yes. are weekly plans. Instead, they use the notes of calendar features on their cell phones. Put a reminder for the task on your phone, but don't forget, forget to do it. Okay, so this one is another advice, yeah? So you classify your important tasks and you, uh, let me see, you put a reminder yeah, on your cell phone. And in that case, okay, you understand or you identify that you need to do this activity in the moment, yeah? Okay, this one is good. Or in some cases, um, let me see, just schedule the different activities. For example, on Monday. Okay, on Monday, I prepare, uh, let me see the homework of, let me see, Tuesday, okay, and Wednesday, subjects it's possible yeah and on Wednesday I prepare the activities that I say on Thursday and on Friday yeah it's possible to do that yeah so that's mean you try to schedule the different activities okay you put uh, let me see the most important activities first and the less at the end this one are good advices okay the last paragraph let me check okay let me see volunteer for in the last paragraph Okay, so let's check. A boy. Uh, Fernando Marinero, please. Okay. okay thank the you. <laughs> These ideas, right? Yes. These ideas can help you improve your time man manage management. When you make plans and complete them, you feel good and can do more. Okay, so these ideas help you for improving the time, yeah? And at the end, you feel good and you can do more if it is possible, yeah? For example, we have here to do grocery shopping, laundry, walk the dog, okay? From Monday, you can write the hour, okay? Exactly the time. At 7 a.m., I do the laundry. At 9 a.m., I work. Okay, on Tuesday at 8, I go to the gym. At 10, I have class, yeah? So this one is important. To do list, okay? This one is a list of things you need to do, yeah? That is necessary to develop. Reminder, this one is something that helps someone remember, okay? Like an alarm on a phone. Time management, this one is being in control of your time, planning and using your time well, okay? I consider that students and teachers and include our parents, okay? We need to develop a, a time management, yeah? Because in that case, we control all the activities that we can do, yes? Okay, if you see here, we use different conjunctions. For example, and, okay, because, or, but, okay, every conjunction has a purpose, yeah? So we discover right now. Okay, but first one, we check the, the comprehension part. So let's see, we answer the different question that we have here. Okay, what do most adults not have enough of? What do you think? What do most adults not have enough of? Do you consider is this one? Okay. Do you have an answer? What do most adults not have enough of? Okay, I think this one is time, yes? Okay, what are two ways to manage your time? Mention two, okay, according to the, the article. What are the two ways to manage our time in that case? What is the first one? Okay, to do a list, yeah, this is one, to do a list and then Okay, 
create a schedule, exactly. Okay, to do a list or create a schedule. Yes. Okay, what happens when people make plans and complete them? Okay, at the end of the paragraph says that you feel good and you can do, okay, more things, exactly. Okay, so now part C, find the words in, but, or, and because in the article and then complete the sentences. Okay, number one, they are busy with word family. Okay, what is the conjunction that we use? They are busy with work, family. What is the conjunction that we use in that case? Okay, and so you right here, thank you. So let's see. Okay, and, and a school. People feel stress. What is the correct conjunction? Because. Okay, because, excellent. Because, yes. Some people don't like schedules, list. What else? Okay, thank you. Or, exactly, thank you, Lucas. Okay, or. And the last one, put a reminder for the task on your phone. What is the correct conjunction in that case? But. Okay, but, yes, that's good. So we complete, yeah, but don't forget to do it. Yes, okay, this one is a good practice for you. Okay, excellent, so let's continue. In that case, okay, we study and, but, or. Okay, these one are coordinated conjunctions and they uh, we use for connecting words, okay? Phrases or in some cases, clauses. okay? For example, people are busy with family and work. In that case, we connect, yeah? I like to exercise, but I don't have time for it every day, okay? So in that case, one more time, we connect a phrase, okay? That's mean. The first one is, I like to exercise. This one is the first phrase. Then we have a connector that in this case is a conjunction, but I don't have time for it every day. So we connect the second sentence. She mm -hmm. studies in the morning or after work, okay? In that case, this one is a close. Okay, let's see. And, but, or for connecting words and phrases. Connecting words, okay? Time and money are valuable, okay? In that case, we mentioned two things. She sleeps only five or six, okay? So we mentioned two things. For that reason, we call connecting words. Connecting phrases, okay? I always make a schedule and look at it often. So that's mean we connect two sentences. I have to do lists on my computer, but not on my phone. So we connect to phrases. Do you work during the day or at night? So these one are phrases, we connect with a conjunction. Then we have and, but, or for connecting clauses. Okay, so this one is important to understand. We have the first clause, then we have the conjunctions, and then we have the second clause. You have more time in your day, comma, and you feel less stress. How we can identify a clause, okay, when we use a comma in that case, okay? In every sentence or in every phrase, okay, if we have two sentences or maybe two clauses, so we use a comma. You have more time in your day, comma, and you feel less stress. Some people use their time well, comma, but other people don't. You can make at least comma or you can schedule tasks on the same day. For that reason, you identify the clause, yes? Okay, okay, that's good, Diego, excellent. So let's see, now let's continue. Using and, but, or, okay, so right now we identify the use of every conjunction. Use and, but, and or to connect words, phrases, and clauses. So that's mean the things that we have already studied. Okay, use and to join two or more ideas. Okay, Maria makes time for the school, family, and work. In that case, we have three ideas, okay, or three words school family, work. For that reason, we use M because we connect three ideas. I study and work every day. Okay, that's mean I connect two activities. I, I develop study and work. I make a to-do list and that's mean another activity and I check, okay, the list often during that day. So that's mean I develop two. For that reason, we use the conjunction N. Then we have, we use but to show contrast or surprising information. Jose works hard, but he also has fun. 
Okay, so this one is a contrast. That's mean this person works a lot, but is a funny person, yeah? Okay, he always makes a schedule, but he rarely follows it, okay? So this one is a contrast, yes? Okay, use or to show a choice of two alternatives. Okay, you can make lists or schedules. Okay, that's mean you choose this one or this one, yes? I exercise or do laundry after I study. Is he at school or at work? Okay, that's mean you have two alternatives, okay, for choosing. Now, use a comma when and, but, or connect to closes. My family gets together at night, comma, and we talk about our day. Sonia makes up early, comma, but she's always late for work. Okay, in that case, you identify the closes with a comma, yes? Okay, then you identify if you join two ideas, if you're, uh, let me see, using this one for contrasting or surprising information, or maybe if you choose two alternatives, yes? Okay, let's see, now we'll pass to the grammar application. You have this one on page, uh, let me see, 124. Okay, in that case, we read the sentences about two types of people, and we complete with the different conjunctions, and, but, or. Okay, and then we have commas if this one is necessary, yes? Okay, the organized person and the disorganized person. So let's see, every day I wake up, comma, and I make a long to-do list. Okay, we have the first example. I usually use the notes feature on my phone for important tasks. I always do them. What do you think is the correct conjunction in that case? Okay, so you're in the chat, but, okay, you say that is bad. Let me check. I usually use the notes feature on my phone for important tasks, okay? But I always do them. Let me see. Okay, what is the correct use in that case? Okay, so we can write and exactly, okay. And this one is a close, yes or no? So we write comma and then n. Okay, why? Because this one, you, uh, let me see, add or maybe join two activities. Yes, okay, the first one is, I usually use the note feature on my phone for important tasks. Okay, that's me, this one is important. And, okay, I always do them. Okay, that's me, the activities, it's not necessary that I do the note. Okay, or that I write the note because I always do. Yeah, but I mentioned, okay. Number three, I don't like to forget appointments, be late. What is the correct conjunction? Okay, or, exactly. So we are here. In that case, we write comma, no, it's not necessary, yeah? Okay, so let's see. I don't like to forget appointments or be late, yes? Okay, number four, I like to be busy. What is the next one? I feel good when I get things done. Okay, so let's see, I like to be busy. Okay, and in that case, we use a comma. Yes, okay. Okay, so you say but or and. <laughs> okay, so let's see. And, exactly, I like to be busy and I feel good when I get things done. Okay, y me siento bien. Yes, doing that. That's good. Okay, the disorganized person. Sometimes I make lists. I usually close them. Okay, but, exactly, okay? So that's mean this one is the contrast, okay? But, and we use a comma here, yeah? Okay, sometimes I make lists, but I usually close them, okay? Number six, I have a lot of appointments, a lot of things to do every day. Okay, thank you, Lucas. Yes, this one is N, exactly. Okay, I have a lot of appointments and a lot of things to do every day. Number seven, I try to be on time. I am often late for appointments. Okay, but yes, this one is correct. So you write a comma here, you separate by the comma and you write the conjunction but. I try to be on time, but I am often late for appointments. 
<clears throat> Next one. I am always busy. Okay. I don't get things done. Okay. What do you think is the last one? Okay. Yes. Okay. And I am always easy and I don't get things done. Mm, let me check. Siempre estoy ocupado. Okay. Y no encuentro cosas por hacer. Okay. In that case. But. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> yes. But. Okay. This one is a different one. Yeah. An organized, disorganized person. An organized person. Okay. Every day wake up and do a list. Okay. Use notes. But. Okay. They do the things. And this person don't like to forget the appointments and is too busy, yeah? And a disorganized person sometimes make lists, but, okay, this person, okay, lose them, okay? They have a lot of appointments, but the majority of the things, okay, don't do, yes. Okay, so let's see, this one is the difference. So we check, okay, let me clear this part, yes, to complete. Okay, excellent. So let's see, let's continue. Now, page 125. In that case, we write the punctuating sentences, okay, with and, comma, but, comma, or, okay? It's the pen of the context, okay? We cover the sentences below about ways to add time to a busy day. So we add the capital letters, okay, the periods, the necessary punctuation, that's me commas, okay, quotation marks, etc. if it is necessary, yeah? Okay, the first one. Jane wants to read more, but she doesn't have the time. Okay, in that case, Jane wants to read more, comma, but she doesn't have the time, period, at the end of the sentence. Yeah, this one is the correct form. Then we have now, she listens to audiobooks in the car and during her breaks at work. What is the correct sentence in that case? So what? we need to insert in this sentence. Capitalization, punctuation, comma. What do you think? Okay, now she- Capitalization in the first okay. word. Okay, so that's me now with capital letter, yes. Now she listens, okay. To audiobooks, okay, in the car, what else? Then, okay, thank you, capitalization. Now she listens to audiobooks in the car, okay. Comma. Okay, comma. And, so that's me go write the conjunctions, and during her breaks at work. That's me at the end, you write, period, yeah? Okay, excellent. So let's see. Okay, now she listens to audiobooks in the car, comma, and, okay, during her breaks. Okay, at work. And at the end, you write period. It is necessary, yeah? Because it's going to be a declarative sentence. And remember, in grammar, okay, if you don't write a period, a comma, capitalization, okay, this one is a mistake. So it is necessary. Okay, next one. She listens to a book or a postcard every day and feels good about herself. What is the correct form of this sentence? So we need to insert... Which one? Okay, Lucas says capitalization, exactly. The first letter, she, okay, listens to a book, okay, or a postcard, yes, every day. Okay, then. Okay, excellent. Comma, yes. Okay, everyday comma and feels good about herself. Period at the end, yes? Okay, feels good about herself. Okay, period at the end of the sentence. Okay, excellent. So let's see. 
Next one. James is very busy and often doesn't do his homework or study. What do you think? This one is correct? Or we have a mistake here? Right. Okay, analyze the sentence. Jane is very busy and often doesn't do his homework or study. Is the sentence correct? Okay, comma after busy, I think. Okay, let's check. James is very busy and often doesn't do his homework, okay, or study. So in that case, the only mistake that we have in the sentence is the period at the end. That's all, okay? Exactly, Aaron, okay? So at the end of a study, you write period. Yes, okay, that's meaning that part. You insert a period, okay, in this one. Yes, remember, this one is the symbol of insert in grammar. So period at the end of the sentence. Yes, so that's when you rewrite the sentence and you write period at the end, okay? Next one, he worries about his grades and gets very upset. Okay, what is the mistake in this sentence? Okay, capitalization, yes. So that's me, we work with capital letters, okay. He worries about his grades. Okay, then. Okay, so you write a comma, yeah? And gets very upset. Okay, his grades. Okay, comma, and gets very upset. And at the end, the period, exactly. Okay, that's mean the end mark or punctuation in that case. Okay, that's good. Next one. Finally, he talks about his problem with the classmate and they decide to help each other. Okay, so capitalization, exactly. So we write here with capital letter. Finally, okay, comma, he talks about his problem with the classmate and Okay, so that's good. He talks, okay. I write this one, yeah, but you were in the complete form. Okay, comma N. Okay, so that's TV. His problem with the classmate. Okay. Classmate. Okay, comma N. They decide exactly, so you continue. Each other at the end, period, yes? Okay, I write in that form because I don't have enough space, yes? Okay, but you can do it complete. Finally, comma, okay, capital letter. He talks about his problem with a classmate, comma, and they decide to help each other. So you insert a period at the end of the sentence. Okay, and the last one. He and his classmate now talk on the phone every day and work on their homework together. Okay, so. Okay, capitalization and comma, yes. And the end mark at the end of the sentence, yes. That's mean the period. He and his classmate, okay, now talk on the phone every day. Okay, and work on their homework together. Okay, together, period. Yes, at the end of the sentence. All of the sentences are declaratives. For that reason, we write period at the end. Yes? Okay, that's good. When you finish this part, you tell me, please. Okay. Okay, you did it, excellent. That's good. Done. Okay, thank you. Excellent. Okay, remember in grammar, okay, it's important use the correct capitalization 
the correct punctuation, okay? If you have proper nouns, you write with capital letter, okay? And don't forget this one. The verbs, you don't write with capital letter, okay? This one is a mistake in grammar. So you need to pay attention to all of these parts. Okay, thank you, Lucas. Thank you, Diego. Thank you, Aaron. Okay, that's good. Okay, thank you, Valeria. Excellent. Okay, so let's continue, yes? That's good. So this one is the exercise. Now, exercise 2.3, more and but or. In that case, okay, so we practice one more time. So we have extra information. So good time management includes time for fun activities, yeah? That's mean uh, we don't include only the activities uh, for working or maybe of a school. So it is necessary in some cases include fun activities. In that case, you don't stress. So we complete the sentences with your ideas about things you do for fun, okay? But you use the conjunctions and, but, and, or in that case, for example, on the weekends, I watch TV and garden, yeah? Okay. Um, okay, excellent Genesis. So let's see, on the weekends, I watch TV and garden, yeah? Maybe you develop another activity. Uh, let's see, once a day, I, what is the fun activity that you develop once a day? For example, once a day, I play video games, it's possible, yes? I went once to the beach. Okay, once a day, I go, okay, to the beach, excellent. In the evenings, I, let me see, take a nap, it's possible, yes? Okay, that's good, okay. I listen to music, I dance, I read a book, okay, I watch a movie, I cook, okay, let's see. Sometimes I, Let's see, I talk for hours with my best friend. Yeah, it's possible. I chat with my friends. I, let me see, okay, different activities. Yes, that's good. Okay, so let's see now, volunteers. For, tell me, these activities. Okay, Avi, so you start. Once a day, I, once a day, I, I go to the beach. In the evenings, I eat my breakfast. And sometimes I with, pardon, I play with my friends. Okay, excellent. So let's see, Diego de Leon, once a day, I? Once a day, I talk with my friends. Okay, in the evenings? In the evenings, I play video games. Okay, and sometimes? Sometimes I go to the mall. Okay, that's good, excellent. Okay, next one. Let's see. Okay, Aaron, once a day, I? Uh, once a day, I take a nap, but very short. <laughs> okay, in the evening? In, in the evening, I play video games or watch TV. Okay, and sometimes? sometimes I play video games or read a book. Okay, or read a book, that's good, excellent. So let's see, Nicole Flores. Okay, once a day, I. Okay, so Valentina Navas, just raise your hand. Okay, once a day, I. Once a day, I play with my dog. Okay. In the evenings, I watch a movie. Okay. Sometimes, I clean my room. <laughs> okay, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, it is necessary, yeah, to spend time in our activities at home. Yeah, clean our room, okay, clean, let me see, the living room, etc. Yeah, help my mom, that's good. Okay, thank you. So let's see. Exactly, nobody use or, but, and, and. Yes, okay, thank you, Aaron. Exactly, and the instruction says that you complete the sentences with your idea, but you use and, but, or, or. Yes, okay, and in that case, 
So we follow the first example. Yeah, on the weekends, I watch TV and garden. Okay, once a day, I okay play soccer and play video games as possible. Yes, that's good. Thank you, Aaron, for this reminder. Okay, that's good. Let's continue. Now, exercise to perform. This one is the vocabulary, and we have different expressions with N and or. Okay, so, okay, Natalia Torres, once a day, I read a book and do exercise. Yes, this one is good for your body and for your health. Okay, so data from the real world. English has many expressions using and and or and the nouns usually occur in the order they appear below for example do you like peanut butter and jelly okay so you don't say do you like jelly and peanut butter no okay so this one is the contrary common now and now expressions for food okay cream and sugar salt and pepper bread and butter peanut butter and jelly fish and chips in that case, is when you use expressions, okay, for telling or for describing the food, okay, you use the conjunction n, okay, that's mean you use now and now, yes, okay, common now and now expressions for relationships, mom and dad, brother and sister, husband and wife, Mister and Missus, father and son, mother and daughter, yeah, when you express about the relatives, yes, so now and now, now is uh, let me see another common expressions, night and day men and women, name and address, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, yes? So this one are common expression that we use with the conjunction and. Also, okay, with uh, the conjunction or, cash or credit, yeah? When you go to store, okay, the person says, okay, so you pay cash or credit, yes? You mentioned that. Coffee or tea, yeah? This one is another expression. And adjective and adjective. That's mean when you make a description about a place, an object, a person, etc. Black and white, old and new, nice and warm. Yeah, for that reason, the most common expression that we use is with N. Yes, now and now. So we mention both. Now we complete this part. Okay, so do you like cream and sugar with your coffee? Yes, okay, so we use a now. Do your Okay, and Dada live in the United States. Okay, what is the noun that we can write here? Okay, do your, okay, mom, yes. Mom and dad live in the United States. So you write this one, yes. Okay, your brother, your sister, etc. Okay, do you have brothers and, this one is easy, yes. Okay, sisters, yes. Okay, do your work. Do you work? Okay, night and day, exactly. Excellent, night and day. Do you like black and? What is this one? <laughs> okay, black and white. white. Yes, okay, black and white movies. Okay, do you think in women have really different interest in, interest in that case? Men, yes. Men. Oh, yes, men. okay. Do you think men and women have really different interest in? I think yes. Okay, do you put salt in? What is the pepper? Okay, yes. Okay, so let's see on your food. Do you usually pay with? Money. Money? Cash. Money, cash. Yes, okay, money. cash, cash or credit. Yes, okay, so when you go to store, you don't say money, okay, you say cash, cash or credit. This one is an expression that the majority of the, uh, let me see, Americans use. Okay, I pay with cash, I pay with credit, yeah. Do you ever eat peanut butter and? What is this one? Okay, yes, excellent. Okay, what is that? Okay, jelly. Oh, jelly. Yes, jelly. Okay, do you prefer? So you have the picture here. Coffee, coffee yes. Coffee. Yeah, okay. Do you prefer coffee or tea? Okay, in my case, I prefer coffee. Yes, coffee. <laughs> coffee, yeah. Me too. Delicious. <laughs> okay, that's good. See you at 11 in the next class. Yes? Okay, Bye. excellent.
Bye. Bye. Okay. See you in 10 minutes. Bye, bye. Bye. Peace. Okay. Bye. See you in 10 minutes.